Here's one from Brian. Brian uh, talks at Clash of Champions 10 in February of 1990. When did you actually realize Sting was legit injured? I've heard stories about Arn and others trying to tell you he was hurt, but you were so caught up in the match you didn't notice. I, now, absolutely, I, absolutely the truth. I jumped on his back not knowing. I had no idea. He fell off the cage, tore his patella tendon, I believe. I mean, it was horrible. I felt terrible. And then I jumped out of the cage, ran down the ramp, and jumped on his back. We went down. He said, Rick, God, I'm hurt bad. And I went, oh, shit. Yeah, we were in Corpus Christi, Texas. That was a hell of an angle, too. Well, right. And, and, it, and it led to the Black Scorpion angle till Sting was okay. And you also had a brief feud with, with JYD. That really upset the apple cart when he got hurt, didn't it? Yes. Yeah, it sure did. Really did. But he was, he came back from it, and I can't, I can't tell you what a great guy Sting is. I got so much time for him, it's ridiculous. He's, every time I see him on TV, I'm happy for him. He always is, um, you know, he's just one of those guys that never goes away, by your side. We text periodically, and uh, I'm happy for him, his family. He's a, he's a, wonderful, he's a, wonderful, man. He's a wonderful man. Well, that, that was a hell of an angle, because just to clarify, Sting didn't get hurt in the match. At the end, he had been kicked out of the Four Horsemen earlier in the show. Yeah. Did a run in and blew out his knee climbing the cage, which, like I said, well, no, when he only fell off it. Yeah. Fell off the cage, right? Right. Which which wrecked the angle at least for a bit. Now, I said you wrestled JYD. That was 1990. Where was JYD? Yeah, at yeah. I'll, I'll, I'll tell you something. Else. I'll tell you something else that happened, and I feel bad about it, but I don't feel bad because I kept my word. Jim Hurd said, "Let's put the belt on Luger," and I said, "I promise, Sting." <laughs> Well, <laughs> I, I think that was the right move on your I, I, Yeah, it, it absolutely was. Um, I mean, it was, it was just a one-minute conversation. I said, you know, this is the guy. You know, I, we built him so far. Don't let him down. You know, when he comes back, he needs just like it, like it was never gone. I, I, think, I think that was the right thing, and um, I'll stand by that forever. Now, you wrestled JYD. Where was he at then? Uh... They just weren't very good matches. I don't. I don't think he was really vested in the gimmick anymore, and very vested in the business. Really a nice guy, um, and I mean, we we got, we got along real well. But just it was hard for me to wrestle a guy that wasn't really motivated, and uh, you know, you run into that a lot. He just had a style. He certainly wasn't built to go long matches, you know, which he never claimed that he was. But uh, that I was just. That was a tough time. You know what Arn did? Arn, they picked me up in Detroit. He and Kevin Sullivan, I can't remember who else we were traveling with. And they rented a white van and they put Milk Run on it. They put what? <laughs> they wrote Milk Run in black letters with paint on the side of the white van. Milk, milk Wagon or milk, milk Run or something like that. Like we were, you know. Like you were milkman. Yeah, you know, it, it cracked me. I don't get it. Well, that meant it was sort of, I, we had come to the depths. <laughs> we had reached his down as we go. Then we weren't in an Avis Cadillac anymore. We were driving around in a white van. <laughs> Just surviving 